You can also eat them. And right now I'm just gonna eat it, because I won't be back here, I think. Oh, actually... No, I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. Probably. Uh, if you eat it, you gain 50 sanity back instantly, but you lose, I think, 20 health. And also, it gives you a sanity aura at nighttime. And obviously, it kept me alive, because uh, the light was there. So this is why it's very nice to have uh, the sprout here, near the octopus, because the octopus is a one-time thing, a uh, one-time-a-day thing. So if you stay overnight at the, the brain, then you can just feed the octopus in the morning, get another doubloon. Sanity for health is really common, actually. Mushrooms, yeah, and taffy. Mushrooms and taffy are both sanity for health. Those are my favorite items in the game. The ones that actually trade one stat for another. They're the most interesting to me, because you have to make a decision. Can you spare a certain amount of whatever other stats? So, so when you were here for the other... I think you were here. The other characters? And I was eating monster meat. Uh, I was saying that people kind of make monster meat out to be something you can never actually eat. Uh, but it's an item that you trade stats for. You trade hunger for health and sanity. So if you can afford health and sanity, then by all means, eat the monster meat. Yeah, the brain spoils very fast. Like one, one day or something, and then it's gone. If it goes to 50% durability, or 50% freshness, the brain, uh, it doesn't do anything but damage you, I think. Maybe it restores some hunger, I think. Uh, but that's about it. So it's not worth it. Yes! I saved it. Just keep it like that for now. So two shark fins, just need two more. It's good if you're starving with Wigfred. Monster meat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. You hate losing health? Well, health is a resource. You pay for it. Uh, there are... four resources in the game for you to manage. Time is one of them. Hunger, health, sanity. And I guess wetness is not really a resource, it's just a condition. But yeah, I guess I guess I wouldn't count wetness then. Though sometimes you do pay with wetness. For instance, if this area is flooded and there's a resource there you need to gather really badly, then you gain wetness, use time, and potentially lose sanity to gain the item you want. That's how you have to think about uh, Don't Starve. You trade off some things for other things. You prefer items that give things and no trade. Freezing and heat, yeah. Wetness, freezing, and heat, they're not really resources, they're like conditions, but you sometimes do have to pay for it. So sometimes you pay with freezing and heat as well, but it's less common than paying with the four right here. Time management is something you learn through experience, mostly. So even sometimes I have trouble with time management. Which ones did I hit? I lost track. The spear is so hard to like, even out their health with. Oh, 
Oh, shit. That was a mistake. I'm trying to kill them all at once so they don't eat the meat. Okay, let's just do this then. Dang sanity now. Not bad. Yeah, the spirit really sucks for killing these. I have to use the puzzles. I don't know if I lost the shark fin. I probably did. Anything? No! Give me my shark fins! Oh, whoops! That was a mistake. I didn't want that to happen. I'm still not used to that. This happened uh, after the patch. They added in that new feature where... The shadow creatures on land can't go out to see. You get different ones. I don't think enough players realize how much of a time-based game this is. Even the more experienced ones, I'm assuming. Based off of some information. Uh, that I have on certain other players. I'm assuming that they don't manage their time very well or think about the game like they should. So the Hound Wave came on day 109. This is an example. Uh, usually I don't save this stuff, but this is what's going on in my head. The Hound Wave came on day 109. That means the next Hound Wave will come the fastest time it'll come, it'll be uh, 1 12th. So, three days from now is the fastest I'll get a hound wave. The slowest will be eight days from now, which is 17. So, between 12 and 17 is the next hound wave. The closer it gets to 17, the higher the chance that that day will have a hound wave. So, this is some of the time management things you need to think about when you play this game. Uh, yeah, green caps are really good for restoring sanity, but you pay for it with a little bit of health. Blue caps are worse, but blue caps have their own uses. They're more versatile. Uh, blue caps are the most versatile mushrooms. Green caps are the overall best, I would say, and red, are, red mushrooms are the worst. Uh, was that crab walking on water? Yes. If you want to check out a guide, you can check out my YouTube. There's a lot of intro videos. Well, there's ten, I think. But there'll be more, eventually. Silly that the umbrella guards against wetness at your feet. Yeah, it is really silly. But everything does. Uh, even the umbrella. You hold the umbrella, it protects you from wetness. Do I have bee boxes? Yes. I'm just catching up with chat, sorry. Because that was a long sequence. ROG is pretty easy after the first summer. Yeah, I guess. Time management is still important, though. How fast do mushrooms respawn? I don't know the exact time, but it's a couple days. Faster with rain, I believe. What point do the red mushrooms have besides vegetables in the crock pot? If you want to pay 20 HP for, I think, 12 hunger, then you do it. I've done it like three or four times ever in my entire life, but it is an option. The option is always there, that's what you have to consider. Uh, if you if you know that there's an option available, then it, it should be something you consider. That's where the experience comes into play. Once you've experienced enough, you know that your options are available. But mostly crockpot.
Yeah, so if you have some form of healing and no way of eating. So if you have, let's say, one of these. This is 20 HP. Uh, but you have no food in your inventory. And you need food really badly. And there's like a couple of uh, red mushrooms. Then you can pay for it with your health. But not cooked. I think it's not cooked. Uh, you have to not cook the red mushrooms. Otherwise, they give you like nothing. They give you like 1 HP and minus 10 sanity or something, which is really dumb. Paying 10 sanity for 1 HP is not worth it. Because most items in the game, even like this garbage little seed here, when, once you cook it, it's worth 1 HP. So if you just need 1 HP, there's a ton of other things for 1 HP. This is actually good flooding. This is mild flooding. It gets worse than this. I got pretty lucky this time with the flooding. My bird is still out there. Gotta go get the bird. Oh, that's where I put it. So between now and day 112, there's going to be zero hound waves. So I don't have to ever worry about hounds. Uh, it gives you a couple days of free time to do whatever you want. Absolutely zero hazards. Yeah, cooking a red mushroom is extending the life of the mushroom for the recipe. Basically that's it. Usually I'm pretty lazy when it comes to that. Uh, I just cook it anyway, like a spoiling thing. But if you're trying to play like 100% optimally, then you should do that. No, it's because I get lazy. Laziness is the reason why I do certain things in this game a certain way. A lot of people ask me questions like, why don't you do this, why don't you do that? The answer is almost always because I'm lazy. But if I wanted to play optimally, then I would, I would do it. Uh, most of the time-related things that I skip out on is because I'm lazy. So if I go AFK right here, I'll be fine. I won't die. In fact, I'm just going to do that right now. So I'm going to go AFK for like two minutes and get a drink. And I'll come back, feed the octopus in the morning. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. It's not daytime yet. But there was a 0% chance for me to die there. Unless I left like a stray shark somewhere and the shark decided to come over here, I guess. Uh, seeing as, seeing that you have lived as long as you have, doesn't seem like you're lazy in any of the ways that would hurt your chances. Yeah, I'm not lazy when it comes to, uh, stuff that I need to do. But if I don't need to, I don't really care. 